All right, guys, so this is a Vogel Sang rotary lobe pump. Underneath this cover are two synchronous rotary lobes, and we're going to remove this cover and show you what those look like. They put a nice little spot right here to get a pry bar on to remove this cover. There was a little bit of pumpage still left inside of this thing that smells like straight up manure. Once this cover is removed, we can see our rotary lobes. So the way that these work is it's a positive displacement pump. So when these lobes are rotating, we're going to increase the volume of the chamber on our suction side, and then we are going to decrease the volume on our discharge side, and this is going to push our liquid through. There's two separate oil chambers inside of this pump. One of them is on the back side where we have our bearings and our gears inside of here. So we have these two roller bearings that sit on our shafts here. On the other side, we have another cavity where our two mechanical seals are housed right underneath this plate. And these mechanical seals are gonna keep our pumpage from leaking into that housing as well. We have two small shims that are located right behind those rotary lobes. And then if I scrape a little bit right inside of here, you can see that we can find something that really resembles baked lays. I'm gonna try these out later around lunchtime. Now we'll need to get a breakdown of the pump. We will go through this thing. We will check every part and piece. We'll replace all the seals. We'll replace all the bearings. We'll replace all the O-rings. Put it back together and make this thing run again like it's brand new. We have our two double roll bearings. We have our two mechanical seals. And we got to get this thing cleaned up because it seriously stinks.